All right, so I have this plant here. It's a Vietnamese white dragon fruit. Um, it's given me several buds and a couple fruits within the last six to seven months ago. Um, but the fruit is not very sweet, so I wanted to try to convert this tree and to bear fruits that are sweet by trying to graft a sweet variety that my neighbor gave us, um, the red dragon fruit kind. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert, um, trim this tree a little bit, move into a bigger pot and graft some of the branches off with the sweet branches. So this is my transpotted, I guess. I just transferred this tree or plant um, into a larger pot, as you can see. Um, it's kind of a struggle. It took me a couple hours um, without damaging so much of the branches but I was able to do it and um, I trimmed some of it off and I kept some of these offshoots because that's where I plan to graft um, the sweet branch, the, the branches I got from my neighbor and hopefully convert this tree or plant into a sweet fruit bearing tree um because it was a vietnamese white with no flavor it's pretty bland but it's pretty good when you mix it with other fruit anyway i'll go ahead and um try and use this plant to graft um and convert it into a sweet bearing fruit tree um so that i don't have to wait as long for it to fruit so hopefully we can get some fruit by this summer all right which Wish me luck. Today I'm going to try to graft some of these branches um, with a cutting. So this is a Vietnamese white with pretty much no taste or bland taste. And I'm going to try to graft it with a sweet variety, um, the red kind. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So basically I'm going to try to see if I can cut this off and attach a branch here and I'm gonna try to see if I could um, remove these shoots and replace it with a cutting um, there's a few of them some of these old shoots the point is so that we could bear fruit at a faster rate rather than wait for it to for a branch to grow and mature. Okay, so I'm gonna try to graph at three different place. Um, so far, I, I went ahead and cut that piece right there. Um, the reason I cut it off is because the top has out. Careful, quickly. Sun damage. So I wanted to get rid of it. I try to attach from these offshoots, but I failed. But basically I wanted to um, expose that part of the branch. So then I can hopefully attach this. Um, another method is to use a drill, but you could. I find it useful to also use a toothpick and stick it in there. So I'm going to try to do that. So I labeled how far of a chopstick I went in. So then I know how much to cut of this. So as you can see, um, I'm going to cut up to the first mark and I'm going to measure that much that far off because then that's how much oops sorry I'm gonna measure it's hard to see sorry I measure let me see that length to cut so then I can insert the new branch 
All right, so cut it off. And basically where I had drilled using a chopstick, looks like this. And I'm just gonna insert, I'm just going to insert that hole into, um, I don't know what you call that, <laughs> but into this little stem. And hopefully, sorry, hopefully it will take, oops, to be careful because it's very fragile and you don't want to break the stem. So it doesn't quite fit. I'm just going to take a clean knife and scrape it off a little bit more. Um, so it will take the branch. Okay, so it, it eventually took it, as you can, you can see it right there. I was able to insert the stem and to the hole I made using chopstick. And that's pretty much it for that branch. And then cover it, label it, um, and keep it under the shade for about 10 to 15 days. So I basically sealed where the two are attached with um, blue tape. I just labeled the branch and I'm gonna go ahead and here. It's kinda getting dark now, so if you can see close I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with plastic here's a better image of my taping work basically trying to cover where it's connected seal it with tape so that moisture doesn't get in All right, so there's that graph. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that one. You can see this one right here. So for this one, I'm basically gonna try one, the, uh, the one where you just sit it on top and tape it and cover it with a bag. So, the other one is where I try to scrape off the green to reveal the inner stem. This one I'm just going to try to attach these two together and tape it up and cover it with a bag just like I did with that one. Okay, so like that. Label it and bag it. Oh yeah, so one thing I wanted to point out is that you want to align the inner stem, the two inner stem together. When, don't just sit it on top. You want to make sure, that make focus issues. You wanted to make sure that these two inner stems align and are on top of each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sorry, having focus issues and um, tape them together. So I went in and label, tape it, and we'll bag it together. <laughs> 